Prior to purchasing your kit, measure the diameter of the front and rear rotors, brake calipers, and wheels to verify the correct size wheel rings needed for your truck. Before installing, we recommend testing your kit for full functionality using a 12-volt power source. Starting with one of the vehicle's front wheels, remove the brake caliper and rotor, then loosely place the brake caliper back onto the hub. Mock up the bracket locations for the wheel ring. Each wheel ring has 10 threaded holes so the brackets can be moved to fit your specific application. For safety, we recommend a minimum of four brackets be used when mounting each wheel ring. Once the ring has been mocked up on the hub, measure and mark the location of the mounting brackets. Using a small drill bit, drill a hole in the backing plate at the marked locations. Additional slip-on brackets have been included in your wheel ring kit to ensure the proper number of brackets is used to securely fasten the wheel ring to the hub. Once the holes have been drilled, use the included nuts and bolts to secure the brackets to the back of the dust plate. Verify the mounting screws will not contact the rotor once installed. If there is not enough clearance for the included screws, aluminum rivets can be used to mount the brackets. Reinstall the rotor and brake caliper to the hub. Run the wire along the brake line of the truck, securing it away from any moving parts. Reinstall the wheel.
Moving to the rear wheel, remove the wheel from the vehicle. Mock up the bracket locations for the wheel ring. Again, move or remove any brackets necessary to safely attach the wheel ring to the backing plate. Place the wheel ring onto the hub. For this specific vehicle, there is enough clearance for us to safely drill and attach the wheel ring brackets without having to remove the brake caliper and rotor. Using a small drill bit, drill a hole in the backing plate at each bracket location. Use the included nuts and bolts to secure the brackets to the back of the dust plate. Verify that the mounting screws will not contact the rotor once installed. If there is not enough clearance for the included screws, aluminum rivets can be used to mount the brackets. Run the wire along the brake lines, securing it away from any moving parts. Reinstall the wheel and verify that the wheel ring has proper clearance. Repeat these steps on the opposite side of the vehicle. Once all the wheel rings have been installed, run all of the lead power wires to the front of the vehicle and into the engine bay. Be sure to secure them away from any hot or moving parts. Depending on the size of your truck, wheel ring extension cables may be needed for your wheel ring cables to reach the front of the vehicle. The wheel ring extension cables are optional and can be purchased through our website. With the vehicle on the ground, make sure to torque all four wheels to the proper factory recommended torque specification. Once the wires are safely run to the engine bay, locate a clean, dry, secure area to mount the junction box.